Over the last few years in South Florida, we've seen a lot of rain and flooding events that were significant, but Fort Lauderdale in particular has been really hit hard by these water events, and now they're trying to do something that will fix their issues for good. In April, the city of Fort Lauderdale was hit by a once in a generation type storm. More than two feet of water was dumped on the city in a matter of hours, flooding communities all over the area. Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trantalis says the event was a wake up call. For so many years, we have neglected our infrastructure. We have sort of just put band aids on it. We've diverted funds that should have gone towards infrastructure. That's why Trantalis says the city is announcing the Fortify Lauderdale Initiative a $500 million project aimed at making the city more water resilient. We've already started the program uh, a few years back, uh, but now we're going to intensify it. We're going to accelerate the programs in terms of stormwater, the drains, in terms of water and sewer, in terms of all kinds of uh, weather-related resiliency. The half a billion dollars is set to come from state and federal grants, as well as from taxpayers and the city's general fund. The mayor says while even state-of-the-art drainage systems wouldn't have handled the amount of water they saw on that day in April, this program will make a massive difference. The city has already started investing in underground stormwater uh, programs, trying to make Fort Lauderdale a much more resilient community, trying to mitigate the flood situations that we continue to suffer from high tides, excessive rains. Uh, we owe it to our community to respond and respond quickly. So the mayor says most of this has already begun. Really, the idea here is to speed things up. They are hopeful that this will be completed in the next 10 years. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.